Dinosaurs discovered in perfect condition. Have you ever heard of fossils thousands of years old preserved in perfect condition? Some even preserving their organs and part of their skin. Today we will show you incredible paleontological discoveries that you won't believe. We will explain why it's possible for dinosaur and other animal fossils to be preserved in excellent condition. We will explore the case of a dinosaur that was preserved in three dimensions and also tell the story of a bison whose meat was so well preserved that scientists decided to eat it. Let's travel back in time together and let the adventure begin. The first discovery we'll learn about was actually a coincidence. It happened in northern Alberta in 2011 in a mine called Millennium. When a worker was doing his everyday job, he noticed something unusual in his excavation, some colorful stones that caught his attention. So he didn't hesitate to call his boss to take a look. Both of them realized that they weren't just simple stones. He had the appearance of an animal, like a dragon or a big lizard, but it wasn't either of those animals. What they had just discovered were nothing more, nothing less than the remains of a Nautosaurus, extremely well preserved. As was appropriate, they decided to call a group of paleontologists from the University of Bristol to take care of the fossil. The excavations continued, now in the hands of experts who determined the weight of the creature, originally to be about 1,300 kilograms and an age of approximately 100. 10 million years. This incredible creature is now on display at the Royal Tyrell Museum of Paleontology in Canada, and those who come to see it say that it could easily be mistaken for a realistic sculpture instead of a fossil. But what really intrigued scientists is determining how it was possible for it to be preserved in such excellent condition for so many millions of years. They found tiny fragments of red pigment in the remains of the skin, which allowed them to recreate its original color in detail, differentiating the shades for the extremities and the upper part of its body. In addition, the scales of the shell were so well preserved that it allowed paleontologists to get a very close idea of the animal's real size and the keratin compounds that gave it protection against predators. This notosaurus specimen retains most of its original estimated weight as the remains found weigh about 1,100 kilograms. It's not surprising considering that much of the internal organs of this exceptional animal were preserved along with the skeleton. The most striking thing about this fossil is the fact that it managed to be preserved in three dimensions, when it is most common to find remains in two dimensions due to the flattening of the Earth's plates and the same fossilization process. This allows researchers to recreate and study the structure of the animal in great detail. If you're enjoying the video, don't forget to give it a like. Each like is a great help in continuing to create interesting content. Let's continue. Let's get to know another specimen found in excellent preservation. A decade before the incredible Norosaurus was found in 1990, American fossil researcher and collector Sue Hendrickson was exploring the cliffs in the western region of South Dakota with her team. After several days of excavation, they came across the remains of an Edmontosaurus, with which they were quite pleased and decided to head back home. But on the way back, whether by chance or destiny, their transport broke down and they were stranded on the side of the road for a few hours. Sue's daughter, bored due to the weight, decided to explore the cliffs in search of an adventure. Wandering around the base of the cliff, she came across several pieces of small bones, unaware that she had just discovered the site where one of the most extensive and well-preserved specimens in the history of paleontology, Tyrannosaurus, lay. As is often the case with scientific discoveries, fossil remains are named after the person responsible for their discovery. After several studies, researchers determined that the fossil preserved 90% of the original mass of the animal and 73% of its composition element. Of the total of 360 bones known to be possessed by Tyrannosaurus, 250 were preserved from the fossil. What we usually think in these cases is that these remains are most likely resting in a museum, but that's not the case as this Tyrannosaurus was auctioned off for a total of 8.3 million. But the question that the researchers tried to answer is this, what allowed these remains to be so well preserved? The reality is that most fossils are just scraps, no more than a broken broken jaw or a couple of bones. What researchers found in common between these two fossils we saw is water. In the case of Nordosaurus, it is known that it died near a river or on the river itself. Although this dinosaur was not strictly aquatic,
Paddock, it is believed to have died while trying to hydrate or perhaps was a victim of a flood or a collapse. It is speculated that the animal's corpse drifted downstream until it was eventually carried out to sea. The scientists deduce that it then submerged to the depths of the ocean, where the minerals and substrate that concealed it allowed it to be preserved in excellent condition. Thus, the Nordosaurus ended up undergoing a fossilization process in the mine where it was found. A simple change in the direction of its death and we would have never known it. In the case of the Tyrannosaurus, its great preservation is also believed to be due to the presence of water. As such, researchers believe that the dinosaur was covered in water and mud moments after it died, so it was hidden from predators and scavengers. Our ancestors knew very well the benefits that cold waters could provide for the preservation of food. Obviously, there was no technology that allowed food to be preserved in good condition, so very ingenious techniques were used. 11,000 years ago, when our ancestors used to kill mammoths for food, a good strategy to preserve so much food for a long time was to throw the food remains into a lake or a shallow cold water pond. This allowed them to slow down the decomposition process due to the low temperatures and the bacterial content of the water, as well as the low oxygen content. The remains were stored in cold seasons, such as autumn or winter, and then retrieved in the spring when water temperatures began to rise. To determine its effectiveness, several paleontologists replicated this technique with deer and sheep. Another way to preserve food in the past was to bury it. This way, food remains were not exposed to sunlight, heat, or oxygen, preventing rapid decomposition. But the strangest known food preservation technique to date is the swamp technique. Some civilizations in Northern Europe introduced food, including oils, into swampy areas to prevent putrefaction. It seems to have been a common and effective practice, although the food ran the risk of acquiring strange flavors. Although, considering that ancient humans did not have taste buds as developed as today, they probably did not notice the difference. Subscribe and activate the notification bell not to miss any of our videos. We upload videos every week. Join our community and be the first to see our content. Let's continue. The next fossil we'll present is named after the place where it was found. It's the remains of a dinosaur named Dakota, found in North Dakota. What's fascinating about it is that not only were its bones preserved, but also remnants of its skin. Usually fossilized dinosaurs end up underground quickly after their death, or they die in an arid place. But what's strange about Dakota is that this animal was in a human environment. It's estimated that it died near a water source and some scavengers tried to devour it. Why did a dinosaur skin rot under these moist conditions? The reason is that the remains, both of dinosaurs and humans, that have been underwater for a long time, are excavated by small creatures that pour into the body, allowing fluids and gases from the interior to escape and the skin to dry without rotting. This also protects them from predators, who usually look for the internal organs as they are more tender and nutritious. All that remain of Dakota wear its dry bones and impeccable preserved skin. That's why these remains manage to stay in good conditions for centuries under a thick layer of earth. The last specimen we will learn about is named Blue Baby, and it's a bison about 50,000 years old. It's estimated that this bison roamed the lands of Alaska until it fell into the clutches of a huge lion. Its remains were recovered in 1979, where it had been lying since the Ice Age. What scientists discovered is that the remains of this animal were quickly frozen after its death, which allowed it to be preserved in very good condition. Its frozen meat resembled that of beef, and its adipose tissues and bone marrow remained intact. One would think that the main interest of paleontologists would be to study the cellular structure, DNA, or components of the animal. But believe it or not, in 1984, the researchers in charge of Blue Baby had the strange idea of trying its meat. Yes, they cooked its meat with vegetables and broth to share a prehistoric dinner. The guests claimed that the taste of the fossils was very similar to the beef we consume today, and that in fact, it was a delicious meal. 
Despite the doubts about consuming meat that had remained frozen for thousands of years and the possibility of serious poisoning, none of the guests suffered any consequences. We hope you enjoy these incredible discoveries and the stories behind them. Which of these discoveries impressed you the most? Leave us a comment and tell us your opinion. If you know of any other fossil preserved in perfect condition, leave us a comment below telling us the story. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. See you in the next video.